Adam Gilligan. Um, train at Dubuque, Iowa at uh, the gym. And uh, I love it. All right. My name is Anthony Nachi. Train out of MFS, and I'm from East Moline. And uh, I get punishment. <laughs> I'm big on stand-up, love stand-up, grew up wrestling, and then I found stand-up and I haven't looked back. It's so much more fun hitting people than it is grappling with them. Adam Gilligan, uh, don't know much. He's tall, and uh, he's probably going to uh, meet the worst uh, Anthony Nachi possible. Nachi's a tough dude. He's been around for a while. He's got a big name, but stylistically, this is mine. I, I think, you know, I got the range to beat him. I got tons of types here, big guys, short guys, strong guys, fast guys. You know, I train with so many different types, how can I not be confident? What's the worst that's gonna happen? I wanna get tested, I wanna get hit, I wanna know what I got. And I, I, I know he's gonna do that. Last fight went well. I knew that I wasn't gonna come out with a, uh, a decision. I knew I had to go in there and I had to beat him. It just wasn't enough. I wasn't impressed. He's beating on Harris, but I feel I can do the same and better. The fact that he doesn't, he's not very impressed about my last fight doesn't bother me, you know. You have to get in there, you have to fight me at the end of the day. It doesn't matter who you've been in there against, you haven't been in there against me. And, uh, you know, I'm going to let him know. I'm going to put it on him. A lot of guys think because I'm small, I don't have a big punch, but either during the match or after, they all say, dang, you hit hard. We're in the fight game. We're gonna get hit. You're gonna see the bright flash. That's all it is. All you have to do is find a way through it, not out of it. And that's the way I choose to go. Opportunities will come, and when they do, I'll be ready. I train hard for these fights, and uh, I want to show what I do in training, and you know, show you know how much of a martial artist I am. I come forward. I don't back off. I'm gonna put it on him. I'm gonna keep the pressure going. We gotta break him. I'm out here to break him, and that's what I'm gonna do. Making his way to the cage tonight in our main event at Cage Aggression 9, Return of the Champions. Night one, Adam the Prototype Gilligan, the record of four and three, fighting out of the gym, representing Dubuque, Iowa. Another big time wrestler, started out wrestling, so it'll be interesting to see if he's able to take Nachi down in this fight. Uh, I, that that's gonna prove tough, I would guess. Yeah, would and guess. you know, Nachi didn't give him uh, a lot of respect coming into this, even though that last fight versus David Harris was a barn burner, uh, five rounds of nonstop action. Uh, apparently, it takes a little bit more than that for uh, Nachi to be impressed, which is fine. Uh, adds to the fire of the fight, and uh, Gilligan definitely wanting to come here, come to his town, no less and uh, show that he's definitely a contender in this division and uh, here tonight. Right, I'm guessing that, you know, Gilligan isn't gonna, isn't gonna back down at all. I, I, you know, he, he knows how talented of a fighter he is, whether he gets respect from his opponent or not. So he's gonna come out here and try to prove to himself and everybody else in this crowd that, hey, you know, I'm not somebody that you can underestimate. Exactly, and if the record of four and three, you know, Seeing him, his fight last time, you would think he'd have so much more fights than seven fights, which just shows this, that you know he's a hard trainer, a hard fighter. I mean, he just trains hard, and, and really, uh, this is a great fight. Making his way to the cage tonight in our main event, Anthony the Prince Nachi with a record of 19 and one, fighting out of Militich fighting system, representing East Moline, Illinois. It's one thing to be a trash talker and you know talk a lot of stuff against your opponent, but Anthony the Prince Nachi has been able to back it up every time he's gone into the ring. So I guess when you start, you know, it's not trash talk at that point. It's just telling you, you know, what I'm going to do once I get you in the ring, so. Exactly, and I got a chance to talk to Nachi. Uh, you know, I, I see him frequently, but I really asked him, his last fight, his his counter-punching and counter-fighting had advanced leaps and bounds. And it's just like this guy goes in every fight and uh, is better than his last fight, and the last fights were phenomenal. So he just improved so much after each fight, and, uh, you know, 
it's, there's been some talk around town sometimes that he's not, he doesn't fight the fighters up to his caliber, which I think a fight's a fight. You get in there, uh, you know, it's that, you know, that's not his fault at all, and I don't believe it anyway. But this definitely, nobody can say that this fight is not even dead down the line. So of course, and then you also have Gilligan, who has a huge height advantage over Nacho too. So. I always like to see fights like this because this is going to be one of those situations where these guys' and styles are very different, their bodies are very different, so who's going to be able to impose their will against their opponent? Exactly. And with that, you know, the crowd's, crowd's definitely amped and ready to go for this fight. It's only going to increase as the fight goes on, uh, and this definitely has all the matches to be a fight of the night. Tonight at Cage Aggression 9, Adam Gilligan in the black shorts, Anthony the Prince Nachi in the red shorts. There will be no touching of gloves for this main event. I'm always impressed with Nachi when he comes to a fight too because each of the few times that I've seen him, each time he comes in in better and better shape too. Right. Exchange some big shots. Oh, huge shot. Nachi already lands that big shot and looking to end it quick. Drops him down. Big wow. shot by Nachi on the top. Gilligan looking to hang on at the right. right here. Taking some huge shots. Dropped again. Nachi's dropping three times already in the first round. And Mike Smith's going to call it if he doesn't do something quick. And that's, that's it. it. That is it. Wow. Jesus. Anthony Nachi comes out. Strong in the first round. Taking That's what you call. Out. That's a beat down. That's a straight up beat down. And you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody or anything like that, but sometimes you come in the ring and you just get beat down. You just get your butt whipped. And that, that was a good old fashioned, plain old butt whipping. Now she came out uber aggressive, you know, and. Gilligan was able to land one nice shot at the very beginning, and you know, Nachi got rid of the, the, the height difference, the reach difference, by overwhelming him with his, you know, with the, with the speed, with his fury. And these are this fight. is a lightweight fight. This is a lightweight matchup, and Nachi Those throws are lightweight hits. No, and see, Nachi throws with so much power. He, he weighs in at 155, and he's damn near back at 175 the next day, 170, and just throws with lunch boxes at you. And one landed early, and it just threw him off, and that's what all it took. Yeah, that was a that was a, a triple knockdown. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Mike Smith has called the stoppage of this contest at 23 seconds into round one. And coming over here, the TKO, Anthony the Prince Nachi. There you have it, the winner of our main event tonight at Cage Aggression Nine, Anthony the Prince Nachi, improving his record. 20 and 1.